Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. I am very happy to be trying on some new makeup today. New brow gel, foundation, eyeshadow palette, blushes. I'm testing out some more black liners in my waterline. I have a new to me mascara to open up. It is a restock that I am happy to get back into. If that sounds like fun, just keep watching. What is on my face right now is a brow pencil from Timu and an eyeshadow primer from Sephora Collection. I, of course, will have everything listed and linked in the description box below. Some are affiliate links, so if you shop through those links, I wanna thank you for supporting me and my channel. Let's start with the eyeshadow palette. And the palette that I picked up is this one here from Morphe. I went to pick this up a couple of weeks ago and it was sold out. And I thought, oh, am I never gonna get it? It came back in stock, so I grabbed it. This is the Going Platinum Artistry palette. It just was calling my name. This is what the palette looks like. We've got lots of cool toned shades in here and a special formula in the middle, the Molten Metal eyeshadow. It has a little helpful paper in here that talks about how you can use that center shade dry or wet. We'll play with it both ways today. Let me go ahead and swatch this palette. Jet Worth, oh my gosh. Stone Cold Rich, Toparazzi, Crowd Control, Champagne Excess, Money Maker, ooh, that is gorgeous. Gems with Benefits, and Invitation Only. And now we have Going Platinum. Mm hmm. And that's not wet. Oh, wow. Yes, please. I'll start with my MOTD eye catching crease brush. I'll start with Invitation Only. It looks like it's going to be too light, but I'm always curious to see what it looks like on the skin. Yeah, I think that would be a good shade to blend out another shade. Toparazzi. Take that a little bit deeper into the crease. Get into that jet worth now. It looked very impressive as a swatch. I'm just keeping it nice and tight and precise with my Essence Smoky Eyes brush. Pressing right into that deepest spot of my eye and swirling. It's always better to build up a black than to go in crazy and get it everywhere. Loving. Now I will take a BYOD EB331, just a little pencil brush, and I'll go into this stone cold rich. love it. I'm going to take some of this crowd control and go a little closer to the lash line just to ground that shimmer. I love this money maker. I want to put a little bit of this right here. That was one of my favorite swatches. It's just so pretty with the pinks. Ooh. Got to save room for that pretty, pretty silver. Now for the Going Platinum, I'm going to try it with my finger first, and it does feel soft. Oh my goodness. Are you seeing this? It feels like silk. This is reminding me of Glam Lights formula. It's so beautiful. And supposedly we'll get even more if we do it wet. So I have to try that. I have this ColourPop E18 flat brush. Spray your brush tip with a setting mist or water before picking up the shadow and glide along the lash line or crease for a molten like shine. Yes, please. I have this new e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. 
that I'm gonna play with in a little bit. Might as well try that with this. Ooh, get that mist. All right, now I'm gonna put it in here on both sides. It was a little less exciting than I was expecting. It actually doesn't even look as nice as that side. But I think I might have used the wrong setting spray because this is so misty, I feel like my brush isn't even hardly wet. I'm gonna go in with some Fix Plus. Let's try this again. That's better. Very nice. We'll just fix the other side while we're in here with the brush. It did add a little bit more with the wet brush, but I really liked it with my finger as well. I'm gonna take a little bit of this champagne excess and put it in the inner, inner corner. I picked up this L'Oreal Infallible Rip, up to 36 hour gel mechanical liner. It says that it is waterproof, smudge resistant, blendable. It had good reviews on Ulta, and I am on the hunt for that black liner that doesn't come down on my waterline. I will take a little bit on the edge. Seems to be going on well. Now for the waterline. So far, so good. It's got a little smudger on the other side, which I like. I also picked up the L'Oreal Flash Cat Eye Liner. I think L'Oreal was having a buy one, get one sale. And I wanted to try out the black liner because this one actually has a wing stencil. Kind of nice if you are not the best at a wing, this could be very helpful. Position open part of stencil at the outer edge of the eye. Lay flat to skin. Oh, this slides off, okay. Oh, I get it. I'm supposed to do it just like that. <gasps> Look at that. Will it match on the other side? <laughs> it was a little awkward, but I like it. I guess you slide this back down into here. Very cool. In honor of playing with Morphe, I knew I was gonna love this palette. I grabbed my Make It Big mascara out of my mascara stash, makeup stash drawer. I love this mascara, or at least I did love it. Let's see if I still love it. I remember bold, beautiful lashes. It gave me a lot, and I need a lot, because today I have a pretty bold eye look. All right, camera turned off, but this is one coat. I'll go ahead and add a couple of coats, and I'll be right back. I'm back. I'll add bottom mascara in a little bit, but yes, it's exactly how I remember it. It builds super fast. It can get clumpy. I didn't have to run a spoolie through it this time. I was just careful, and without wiggling, just went straight through. Next, I'll be playing with a new foundation. This one from Tear Tear. This is the Mask Fit Red Cushion Foundation. This has been all over social media. I couldn't help myself. I picked up the shade 24N, an adhering cushion foundation. It helps keep makeup fresh for long hours with lightweight powder and skincare substance. Mask safe and can be worn up to 72 hours. Of course, I'm not gonna do that. Look at the packaging. Oh, I pretty red egg-like packaging. This is stunning. I don't know how you open it, just like this. A little bit on the puff. I'd rather build it up. I do not have any primer on. I wanted to see how this foundation does. Feels super thin and lightweight. Wow. Look at that. It's got a nice radiance to it. Looks really pretty. Just gonna do a little press. Do it on this side. Let's see how it covers up my unwanted friend. 
have to be honest, the mirror is not great. But who cares? Look at this foundation. I'm not sure it's the right shade. Might be a little bit too dark. Wow. I'm really liking that. Ooh, my skin feels a little bit tacky. Let's hope that goes away. Just gonna add a little bit of my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. I have mine in the shade 355 Vanilla. I'm gonna put just the teensiest amount on. I'll set it with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I just picked this up this month. I got it in Fair. It's basically brightening the center of my face. I'm not loving how tacky my face feels. I just went and grabbed my Essence Keep Me Covered powder. I like this. I have mine in the shade Light Medium. I'm just gonna use a fluffy brush and just set the rest of my face because I have powder products that I wanna put on and I don't want them to stick. I went ahead and added a little bit of bottom mascara. I have nothing new for the lips, so I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Color Riche in Matte's It with my Queen Musia lip color that I've been testing. Prettiest packaging of it. Gonna throw a bit of my NYX Buttermelt Bronzer in Deserve Butter. Newer to my collection. This is a newer release from NYX. And you know, I picked up some of the blushes. I had to. <laughs> this is a very pretty bronzer. It's got a little bit of a tropical scent, smooth, blurring, everything we want. The Buttermelt blushes came out and I picked up two different shades. This one is Feeling Butter and this one is All the Butter. <laughs> Let me go ahead and swatch them. This one is Feeling Butter. got a coppery tone to it. And then this one just drew me in with the purple. And this is all the butter. They feel amazing. Feeling butter? I'm not sure about. It's a little coppery warm for my taste right now. But the all the butter? I'm excited. I'll use my Morphe A23 brush. It seems like it could be pigmented. Ooh, it is, I barely touched. So be careful. Tap off your brush, go light-handed. Looks like there is a radiance, it's really pretty. Next new product is gonna be this one from Ardell. This is new-ish. This is their Brow Glue Instant Lamination Lift and Styling Tool. I saw this in Walmart and thought I want to try it. I love a good strong brow gel. I just picked up the one from Maybelline and I've been enjoying that. It comes with a little brush and comb and it looks like a flat part on the end. And there's product on the spoolie. So do we need this? I don't know, we'll find out. I could brush through. They have powder and stuff in the... The wand is interesting. It's got short bristles on this side and longer bristles on the other. I'm gonna do the short bristles first. And just brush this through. Wow. I do see a little bit of white. Does that go away? I hope so. I'm just flicking the brush around to see which side I like better. Already almost completely dry. I like that a lot. I may have to touch up the color a little bit, but wow, it gave me instant hold and fluff, and I don't see anything white or crusty. Uh, yes, this is good. Last new product is this e.l.f. Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray, Shockingly Fine Mist Major Makeup Grip. I thought I would give it a test. I'm not huge on dewy, but I do like it when my face looks natural and fresh. So because I wanna check out this tier to your foundation, I'm just gonna set half of my face. Right now, the face does not feel tacky because I set it with the powder. So I'm gonna go on the right side of my face. I'm shaking it. 
the mist does feel really nice. I still have not charged my fan. You should see my desk. It's out of control. Like I got maybe one wonky spray. All right, definitely is giving this side of my face a little more luminosity. I don't think I like it. I feel like I can see pores, whereas on this side, it just looks blurred and smooth. Hmm. Final thoughts. This new Morphe Going Platinum palette, huge hit. I loved the way that these shadows applied. This has an amazing quality. The shimmers felt lovely, like Morphe is stepping up their game. These felt like Glam Light's shimmer formula that I adore. Silky smooth, big pop, love it. You don't even need, in my opinion, to wet that center shade for it to give a beautiful pop and shine. Infallible Grip Liner, hmm, I can see it on my bottom waterline. Not a lot, but I can see it. I'll continue playing with it. I'm gonna figure this out. But so far, I like the liner. It's just, it would be nice if it didn't transfer. The Flash Cat Eye, I thought that was fun. I was scared using that stencil but it did a nice job with my wings. If you are a beginner, need a little bit of help, need a very user-friendly liquid liner, of course, I'll keep you posted how it wears if it moves or anything, but so far, love it. The Tear Tear Foundation, I'm very excited to see how this wears. I think the color is a hair dark for me, but I believe with summer coming, it may be perfect. Again, I picked up 24N Latte, but the application, so thin and lightweight and it really did blur the skin so far i'm really enjoying the way that my skin looks with this foundation and it covered up what i needed to cover up happy to have my make it big mascara back again gorgeous mascara the buttermelt blushes love the formula I'm not sure about this feeling butter shade but this all the butter absolutely it looks beautiful the brow gel amazing instant love. And the setting spray. No. My face still feels tacky on this side that it's on, not on this side. Mm, I say pass. And that is everything. This was so much fun. I hope that this was helpful for you. Be sure to pay attention to the description box as well as the pinned comment that I will put when this video goes up to let you know how the foundation wore. Be sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. I upload videos on Mondays and Saturdays. I would love to have you join me. Give the video a thumbs up and of course leave me a comment. Have a fabulous day. I'll see you in the next one.